First, the virus doesn't discriminate. Men and women have both been infected. Age-wise has also affected both younger and older people. And after putting together all the information on the first 18 patients, we have come up with this graph. The seventh patient was discharged just today, as indicated there. Now, we've uh, color-coded the case timelines into four portions. The blue area is when they arrived in Singapore. The yellow is when they started showing symptoms, as reported by the health ministry. And the orange is when they were notified as suspect cases. And the red is the date they were confirmed as cases. Now, taking a broad look, we can see that days can pass from the time of arrival in Singapore till when symptoms show up. These four cases, for example, they spent around a week in Singapore before symptoms emerged. Plus, we don't know when exactly they were infected, meaning they could have been carrying the virus even before reaching here. Experts say the virus has a roughly 14-day incubation period. Another observation that it can take a while between symptoms starting to show and when one is notified as a suspected case. Now, look at these two cases. This can last up to a week. And it's still unclear why this is so. The health ministry has not specified the exact reason. But the ministry has been con constantly urging those who show symptoms like cough, fever and runny nose to wear a mask, wash your hands and go see a doctor. Another unknown, how exactly the coronavirus is transmitted. But there is a clear trend in these cases that there was exposure to another infected patient. For instance, the first and third patients are father and son. There are also two pairs of cases where the patients were travelling companions. Now, there is a married couple who were diagnosed one after another. And one was a close contact of another patient.